On 18th April, the Indian Meteorological Department released a list of 38 of its stations which recorded a temperature above 42 degrees Celsius. It shows that heat wave like conditions prevail across the country. According to IMD definition, heat wave is declared when normal maximum temperature exceeds 40 degrees Celsius in plain regions and 30 degrees Celsius in hilly regions. As of now, alerts have been issued in Gangetic Plains of West Bengal, Odisha, part of Northeast India, and Eastern UP. Earlier, a similar alert was issued for Delhi, Haryana, Punjab and Central India. These weather conditions, which are classified under adverse weather events, are increasing in frequency. The summer of last year was the fifth warmest year in India's history and February 2023 the hottest since 1901. So what do heat waves say about India's erratic weather? Usually temperature starts increasing by first week of April but this year we have seen the second half of March witnessed pre-monsoon activities, widespread pre-monsoon activities across country. Uh, so Temperature remained below normal, but uh, uh, since last four to five days, weather has gone dry and dry northwesterly winds are prevailing and temperatures are increasing. Usually March, April and May, these are pre-monsoon months and April, May are hottest and uh, the temperatures, uh, we can say the above normal temperatures persisted until first half of June, until monsoon reaches northwest India. IMD had attributed weak western disturbance early in the year as a reason for heat waves. The same western disturbances are responsible for bringing rains in India in the form of monsoon. March 2023 saw many rainy days which were unseasonal and adversely impacted wheat crops. The first batch of harvest was of poor quality. The concerns around El Nino are also there. An El Nino year leads to poor monsoon and risk of drought in the country. So, how do unseasonal rains and El Nino impact India's agriculture cycle? Last three years was La Nina year and monsoon was normal to above normal. But now we are in ancient digital condition. Gradually, it will be La Nina evolving, uh, sorry, evolving El Nino and uh, temperature, sea surface temperature over eastern Pacific will start increasing and it will adversely impact our monsoon, southwest monsoon. Uh, from later part of July, impact of El Nino will be felt and August and September will see lesser rain than normal, which will impact the output, uh, crop output and uh, the rain fed areas will be uh, hard hit. Heat waves also have an economic impact. They cost India an income loss of 5.4% of gross domestic product in 2021. There was also a 55% jump in debts due to extreme heat in India. In 2022, 2 million hectares of crops were affected due to extreme weather conditions across the country. Let us hear experts give insights into this. For two consecutive years, we are seeing that the wheat crop is being getting impacted. This year, the rice also got impacted because drought. there was a drought-like condition in the eastern part of India, in Jharkhand, Bihar, Odisha, some amount of Chhattisgarh as well. Then, then when the wheat uh, crop is uh, ready, uh, when the, in the Ravi season, there is the, the, the suddenly the unseasonal rain starts and there is a sudden spike in temperature first in a uh, month of February. But against all this, within just a few months, a uh, few days, in fact, in less than 15 days, the entire scenario changed and there were massive rains in uh, the wheat growing areas of northern India, central India, even parts of Gujarat, the, 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 which impacted the standing crops. So all in all, this has a huge economic impact on the crop, on agriculture, on farmers' incomes. If economy does not grow, the FMCG sales don't come up. Two-wheeler sales we are seeing for a prolonged period of time, it is not growing. Farm wages haven't grown for a very, very long time. They are real, in real farm wages have almost been stagnant for the last four, five years. Climate change is very much a reality. India too is bound to be impacted. Experts say policy changes in agriculture and economy are the need of the hour. So what are these policy interventions that can help India combat such extreme weather events? From the point of view of agriculture, we have to have now focus on seeds on practices which are resistant to volatility of weather, be it excess rains or dry warm uh, weather or prolonged period of dry uh, monsoon breaks. We have done a lot of it. We have developed seeds, like in case of wheat also, there was a uh, there was some reports that we are developing seeds which will mature early, which will be resistant to uh, heat wave. But we now need a more concrete intervention into the ground. We need more extension activities. We need more promotional activities. We need more incentives to the farmers to gradually shift to these things. Similarly, for economic activities, you also have to take into account, you also have to understand Okay, this is a reality and this is a challenge that you will have to face every year. So why in terms of disaster mitigation activities, we have done a very good job now in disaster mitigations. But how to rehabilitate the people, how to start restart their economic activities, like in case of farming, crop insurance or hedging the risk, 
is a very big very big uh, solution the sham el sheikh climate change conference adopted many decisions including limiting global increase in temperature by 1.5 degrees celsius and greenhouse gas emissions peaking by 2025 however the latest climate pledge by countries including india shows that there will be less than 10% cut in projected greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 this is bound to have adverse effects on the climate such as heat waves and erratic weather If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.